Okay, so I've solved this cube just to show you how this last algorithm works, because it can be a little confusing to understand if you don't follow it. Um, so this last sequence that you have to memorize, what it does is if you're holding two corner pieces in the top front position, it will rotate the right one clockwise and it'll rotate the left, the left one counterclockwise. So uh, the move sequence itself is back right, right up, back left, right down. And then you do that twice, and that's flip the first corner. Then you move the second corner into place with front right, and then you do the inverse move sequence. So that is um, right up, back right, right down, back left. You do that again. Okay, and then you move the front to the solve position, that's front left, and as you can see, it rotated this corner and this corner to make them solved. As you'll notice, um, these two blue stickers are on the same face and they need to go up here. We need to rotate these two corners so the blue stickers go up here. Now, there's two ways you can orient the cube. Um, so you can either orient it like this or like this. And we want to orient it like this so that we have the two blue stickers in front to rotate up here. And we simply do our move sequence to rotate the first blue sticker up. And we do the opposite to rotate the second up. We move the front back. Okay, so now I'm back where we were before, where we had all the corner pieces in the top layer position correctly, but they are not flipped correctly necessarily. And using the algorithm we just learned, we have to flip the corners. Um, so what we want to do is we want to look for um, two stickers on the same face to rotate up, like I just showed you before, which means we rotate the right one clockwise, left one counterclockwise, move these two up here. So we orient the cube so that we have the two uh, identically colored stickers in front and do our move sequence and that will fix bo both corners at the same time. And for these two, we see that the identical colors are on the top, so we have to make them in front by rotating it, the cube. And so now we can do our move sequence. And we've rotated the two corners correctly. So now the orange stickers are on the appropriate faces and as are the rest of the stickers. Now sometimes you'll get a situation where the corners are not next to each other or um, you can't flip both of them at the same time. And what you do in that situation is you have to flip one of the corners and one of the corners on the bottom. It doesn't matter which one because we don't care about whether they're solved or not. So in this case we see that um, the red sticker here has to be rotated here. Um, so we can hold the cube in this position to rotate this one clockwise, this one counterclockwise, to move these stickers up here, solving this piece, and rotating this one as well. So we'll hold this here, and do our sequence. And as you can see, we've rotated the green sticker up here, and we've rotated the red sticker up here. So this piece has become solved, and this piece has also been rotated. I'll do it again just to show you. We have another piece here, and um, we see that the yellow sticker has to go onto this side, and so we hold the cube so that the yellow sticker is in front to go up, and we also rotate this corner as well in the process. This rotates clockwise, this rotates counterclockwise. We do our sequence, we rotate the first one, the second one in place and we rotate it back. As you can see, we've rotated these two stickers up, hence solving uh, this piece and rotating this piece in the process. 
and we have all of our corners solved in the top layer. Okay, so now we move on to the last layer. And if your cross is misrotated like this, then you should rotate it back so that all of the edge pieces are in place. Now, this step is very similar to the last step. Um, you first position all the pieces and then you rotate them and you use the same two algorithms in the last step. Now what you want to do is find out which corners are in the wrong place. So we see this corner, although it's not flipped correctly, is between the uh, correct centers because this is red, this is yellow, and this is green. So this is in the correct place. However, the remaining three corners are not because um, the white, it is not between the white center. I mean, it has to be between the white center. So it, this piece has to go here. Uh, and this piece has red and white, so it has to go between red and white, has to go here. And this piece has yellow and orange, it has to go over here between the yellow and orange centers. So we know this piece is correctly positioned, and these three are not. Okay? So we have a little triangle here. And what you have to do is you have to hold the correctly positioned one right here. And then you have to hold the incorrectly positioned ones in a backwards L, sort of like this. <clears throat> and then what you do is you simply do the move sequence from the previous step uh, until these pieces are correctly positioned. So now we have this one's rotated correctly and positioned correctly. This one is between the correct centers and so is this one, and this one is still between the correct centers. Now sometimes you won't be able to make your little L because all of them will be incorrectly positioned. So as we can see, this is not right, this is not right, this is not right, and this is not right. If you have this sort of permutation, then what you should do is you should do the move sequence from the last step uh, from any orientation just as long as the green is the front side. And then that will correctly position one of the corners. So in this case, we have correctly positioned this one. So we hold this one on the top left, and the other pieces in the front, and we do our move sequence. And we only needed to do it once that time. And as you can see, all of them are in the correct place. And like the last step, now we have to rotate the corners so that they are oriented correctly. And what we do is we look for pairs of identical colors um, on the cube that are on the same face. So in this case, we see these two and these two. And we hold these two identical pairs in front to rotate this up and this up. These two have to go up here. So we do that and they're rotated correctly. Orange moved up to the orange face, which we love. And for here, we have to hold these two green stickers in front to rotate them up to here. And then we simply do our move sequence. And as you can see, we have rotated these up and the whole cube is solved. Now there's one more case for orientation which you, you might encounter. If you have two uh, incorrectly rotated corner pieces and they're opposite each other, uh, what you have to do is you have to temporarily rotate one of the other corners. So I'm going to fix this corner while screwing up this one. So I'm going to rotate these up like that. This one clockwise, this one counterclockwise. So you, as you can see, I fixed this one and I messed up this one. But now we can see we have a favorable pair of similar colored stickers. These have to be rotated up to here. So we hold the two stickers in front. And there we go, we solved it. And that's all you need to know to solve the Rubik's Cube. Hope you found this helpful, and I hope you can solve your cube now.